Welcome back guys. Today I'll be doing an unboxing video of the Japan Historic Series from a &J Toys. Uh, I pre-ordered this way back in January. Uh, didn't get it until now. And you'll notice that the environment here is a little bit different. That's because my normal photo studio has a whole bunch of junk in it and I don't really feel like moving it. Uh, and it'll be good for when I take pictures of these. Uh, so, without further ado, sorry for the change of an area, but without further ado, let's get cracking. First up, we have there's going to be two of them uh, each on the entire uh, of cars in this series. So there's two Nissan Skyline 2000 GTRs in the police livery. There's the card art. Oh, had I known how good the card art was going to be, I might not have split up the series, but... Uh, at the time, I wasn't going to buy the set, uh, like uh, both sets, uh, needlessly somewhat. So uh, I purchased half, and a friend of mine purchased the other half, so I'll be shipping these off to him here soon. So that's the Skyline. Well, Skyline 2000 GTR. Here's the 71 Datsun 510 wagon. The camera will focus. Excuse me a minute. The camera's not wanting to focus. There we go. Wait, no, lost it. I've got Hold on just a second. I'm going to try and get this into a better area where it might focus better. Okay. I got it moved around a little bit. Might be hard to tell, but I've got both grill variations here. This one is got the slats in it. This is the smooth grill. Not sure which is where. Uh, I'll look it up online. And then see if my friend cares which he gets. Because I'm sure we'll both crack them. But if one's worth considerable more, considerably more than the other, then obviously it wouldn't be fair to him. Without at least some of his opinion. Because he did pay for a little more than half. Oh. So that was the 510. We got the, so far we've gotten the Skyline 2000 GTR right here. And then we had the 510 with both grill variations. Now we have the RX3, which is a brand new casting. Fantastic little casting, too. Uh, well,. I'll let it speak for itself. Gorgeous wide fenders. I'm really liking the look of these new wheels they've got um, with the stretch tires and the deep dish four spokes. Very Japanese look to them. Uh, and as I've mentioned, this card art is simply phenomenal. It's got like the Sakura trees, or however you say them, in the back, uh, the 
single red uh, rising sun, the uh, Mount, what would probably be Mount Fuji, uh, little village, and then the car. And this is where majority of the color is the car itself in the Japan, uh, the rising sun, and then the Hot Wheels logo. The back's okay. Uh, it shows all of them in the, in the series. But and that's them. Wonderful, wonderful little cars. Let's see. So far from what I've seen online, this is the peg warmer of the series. If you could call it a peg warmer. This fantastic Toyota 2000 GT in like almost a Green Bay Packers esque color combo with the green hood and then the yellow uh, body. These are all real riders, metal, metal body, metal base cars, too. I should point out. Like I said, the car art is fantastic. And then. Last, but most certainly not least, is the Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX. Again, a gorgeous car. This is actually realistic livery. Interesting blue painted base. Works well. Neither of these have roll cages. So, again, I'll look that up to see which is rare. So let's get these over to my slightly messy photo studio to take a closer look at them. Okay, I'm back. Um... As you can see, I've got a sort of pseudo diorama. So, I'm only going to open up the ones that don't have any variation. And I'm opening them off camera with like an exacto type knife so then I can try and save the card art. So like I said, my card art is wonderful. And so are the cars. So I love the police style graphics on this one. There's that. What else do we have? Leave the five tens for now. RX three.
There's the RX-3. The classic Mazda rotary badge. Because this is a rotary engine. Here's the new wheels. You can really see them here in the chrome color. And this is a brand new casting, as I mentioned. Not sure when or if it'll go into the main lines, but this is most definitely one that'll get scooped up off the shelves. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I don't really buy cases of cars to open up because, well, really, I don't have enough money to like throw away if you uh, so to say uh, on these uh, just to get a couple cars I want or whatever so I have to kind of uh, so I have to do a lot more in-store uh, hunting or whatever but with this one, I know that the scalpers are just going to get so much that I'd have to order online if I wanted to even see any of these beyond maybe the two Toyota 2000 GT. Which is right here. This one could have used a yellow painted base, but instead it got silver. Not that that's a huge complaint. Um, there's the hinges for the hood. But it is a thing to note. Also, I don't believe any of these cars have headlights or taillight tampos. See, this 2000 GT casting is a great one. It's great to see it again, great to see it as a premium release. And fantastic wheels to go with it. What else? I think that's it for the ones I'm going to open. Uh, I know for... Uh, that... On this skyline, uh, I know there's a variation that comes with roll cage and then the one without. This is obviously the one without. I'm not sure if that's rare or not. Uh, I looked up on Google, but I don't think this is the rare variation. But you know, you never can tell because. I got a stick piece of paper. Off. Good lighting. There we go. smooth smooth grill as you can see and then the regular grill as I mentioned I don't know which kind is the rare variation I'll have to look at that and then contact my friend about it but that is the Japan Historic's case as I said there is two of each car. And I 
I uh, know the set I got these from A and J Toys. A lot of U.S. collectors did as well. And so this is what you should be prepared to see. And uh, but for at least for now, they might uh, put them back in stock here. Uh, they do not have the pre-order out. They might just be waiting until they actually get extras they can sell. But that is a thing to note if you're a collector in the U.S. Uh, I know Wheel Collectors, a site that uh, Lamley Group promotes, uh, sells complete sets of them. Pre-opened one set, uh, not the two. And those are $35, I believe. Might be able to find them cheaper elsewhere on eBay. Um, but it's still not going to meet the price I got these for. I got it for 22 or 21 or $22 a set. And if you do the math, that's a pretty good deal. Not like, well, if you go into stores you'll, and find them, it'll probably be... Three dollars, three fifty, something like that. Uh, however, you're probably unlikely to find the complete set, so just paying that extra little bit for a guarantee is something I was willing to do, and it's definitely well worth it. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next time, and have a great day.